it is Sunday morning. Well, it's 11.30 on Sunday morning. I am having kind of a day, like a prep day for the week. Um, I guess everybody probably does that on Sunday, but I am on my way to Costco right now. Um, I hate going to Costco on Sundays, but I need a couple things that I did not think about when I was there on Friday night. So um, I'm going to grab a couple things for like meal prep and a couple groceries. And then I'm gonna go to the smaller grocery store, I think for a couple things as well. Potentially Target, I'm not sure. I'll have to see if Costco has what I need. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I meal prep for the week. Um, I'm going a little bit more in depth this week than I normally do just because I've noticed that I kind of, um, I meal prep like my main meal, but then I don't get in like extra like fruit and veggies. So hopefully I will be able to get all the things I need to actually meal prep like full meals instead of just like the main course, which I'll show you guys what I make. Um, the main course is still like very balanced, but I think I just need to add more in it so that I feel more satisfied and so I'm not so like snacky later on and so I have like if I do get you know wanting like a snack um, just having stuff healthier stuff available wow that was really hard to spit out so basically I'm just gonna take you guys with me um, depending how busy Costco is I may not you know vlog anything in there just because it's crazy on Sundays especially at this time because it's like church is getting out people are coming with their kids it's freaking crazy so um but yeah, so I'm just going to take you guys along and we'll see how it goes. And then I will for sure see you guys back at home and I will show you guys kind of what I do um, for meal prep. So, great. Let's get into it. Alright guys, I just got back from grocery shopping and I'm going to show you guys what I got and then kind of walk you through my plan for all this stuff for this week. So um, first thing was I went to Costco. So you guys are resting on a giant box of tissues. <laughs> Ran out of those, so I grabbed some of those. I also grabbed some of this Premier Protein, um, the caramel flavor. I have never actually tried the caramel flavor, but I've heard it's really good, um, especially to mix in your coffee. So that's why I got it. I currently have the peaches and cream flavor which I like, but um, it's not even that I got sick of it. I just kind of like forgot that I had it, so I haven't been actively drinking it. This is the only protein that I can actually drink. Um, I do not like protein powder. I cannot stand the taste of protein. So um, the great thing about Premier Protein is you can't really taste the protein. It does not taste like it at all. Um, so I got that, so hopefully I will be able to just bring that to work with me and have it with my morning coffee to get some more protein. Um, what else? My stuff's kind of all over the counter here. So then I got some of these little snacking cucumbers. They're really little. They're like the size of like pickles. And these are really great just to like throw in um, for a snack, really easy snack. Um, typically when I get cucumbers, I will slice that, peel them, slice them, and put lime juice over them with, um, Cajun seasoning which is like a chili lime seasoning so I might um, just bring like that seasoning with me to kind of like sprinkle over top of these or dip it in or something I've, I don't know yet but these are really good on their own too or with like hummus um, so really good healthy easy snack idea um, I also got some bell peppers I haven't decided how I'm gonna use these yet I think I'm gonna slice some of them to go with lunches or snacks um, I've also debated doing like a sheet pan, um, shrimp, peppers, sausage kind of thing. Um, haven't decided yet, but I'll probably slice up some of these because I won't be able to use them all if I don't eat some of them just by themselves. Then I got some raspberries, which I love raspberries. Um, fun fact, when I was growing up, my grandparents had a giant raspberry patch in their backyard. Um, they live in Upper Michigan and we would always go and pick raspberries and we would get like, I'm not even lying, like gallons full. So it literally pains me to pay for raspberries because I'm so used to just going and grabbing and eating as many as I want. Um, but these weren't bad. I think this was like four or five dollars at Costco, which honestly, if you're at a grocery store, like one side of, the, of these is like six dollars. So pretty good deal. 
um, from Costco. And then I also got a big thing of blackberries. I also really like blackberries. And I think this was $4 for this giant flat of them. So that's a really good deal if you like ras or blackberries. Um, I think that was everything I got from Costco. It wasn't a ton of stuff, but then I went to Target and got some stuff. Um, so first off, I did not have any like good meal prep containers. Um, we have tons of Tupperware, but these are just so nice and compact. And I like that there's no like division, like it's just one big open space. A lot of meal prep containers are, um, excuse me, are like divided up. So I like that these are bigger. We'll see if I actually like it, like it like that when I'm using it. I have a couple, um, I have like two containers that are divided up. Um, and like they're nice for like, if you wanna put like fruit in, you know, like I got those raspberries. So what I'll probably have to do is just get another little container to put these in or just to have it separate. Um, but I like how compact these are because our Tupperware drawer, or like cupboard is a disaster and it drives me absolutely insane that it never stays nice so um these will be really nice to just be able to stack them and um they're bpa free so you know you're not gonna have a bunch of like chemicals leaking into your food um this was like ten dollars at target for ten of them um next i got some facial moisturizer i've never tried this this is the hydro boost water gel from neutrogena um, I'm almost out of my Olay Regenerous, and I figured I'd try something different since it'll start getting a little bit warmer out here soon. Hopefully, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. But, so I figured this would be a little bit more lightweight, um, something that I can wear in the morning and at night. Um, and then I also got some of this Dr. Teal's body lotion, this lavender body lotion. Um, my skin has been super dry, um, and I refuse to take less hot showers so <laughs> that's part of the reason why my skin is so dry i take very hot showers um but i am basically out of body lotion and i love lavender especially before bed and i usually shower at night so i figured this would be a good option um dr teal's is a really good brand for just a little bit more natural um like bath and beauty products um i actually have some of their lavender bath salt stuff and like a couple like bubble bath stuff but I don't have a bath so I don't get to use it but um I really love the smell of this and it'll be really good at night then um I got oh this is kind of fun actually um so I wanted to get a diffuser for my car um so that I could diffuse like essential oils in my car um so I picked this guy up it's a little cactus cordless uh ultrasonic essential oil diffuser so basically it's like a rechargeable diffuser and then you just put water and your essential oil in there and then you can diffuse it in your car. I mean, it's not necessarily made for your car, but it looks like it'll fit in my cup holder, which is what I wanted. So got that. And then I also got this Product 62 uh, lavender and chamomile essential oil to put in there because I love lavender apparently. So um, want that for my car instead of getting like, right now I have like the Bath and Body Works little like car diffuser or I don't know what they are they're little circle things that you put in the vent diffuser thing and um I don't love the one that I have in there now but I feel like this is so full of chemicals so I figured this would be a little bit better option this is just all very straight ingredients lavender oil chamomile oil patchouli oil and cinnamon leaf oil so it's pretty clean I mean it's not anything crazy I don't even know what goes into Bath Body Works or um products so at least i know what's going in here um okay then on to food from target i got some salad and the olive garden dressing i am obsessed with olive garden salad so i figured i would kind of recreate that as um part of my lunches this week so then i got like tomatoes and pepperoncinis because that's like the best part of the salad um and then I got some ground chicken to cook up and put on top of there for some protein. And then I also got um, a couple things of these Blue Diamond flavored almonds. So I got the salt and vinegar one and the smokehouse one. I already know I love the smokehouse. Actually, I'm gonna try these salt and vinegar ones right now. I've never had them, but um, I figured that would be kind of a good like salad topping. Oh no, I broke the little tab. Um, so I figured that'd be a good option for salads or just as a good snacking option, you know, if I don't love it on salads. <sighs> okay, hang on. I broke the tab, so I gotta cut this open. 
fun fact, Costco has, so these were on sale for two for $6 of these little cans. So I, I picked up a couple. Um, the smokehouse ones, I'm probably just gonna take and put it in my snack drawer at work. I realize I talk about my snack drawer at work a lot. Um, it's a very important part of my life, so. <laughs> I have a pretty decked out snack drawer like all the time. Actually, I just ordered a like a tea bag organizer from um, Amazon and I got it and I completely filled it up and I still have tea left in my drawer. So like I have a ton of tea, a bunch of like, I have like protein bars, like different nuts and like things like that. Um, just for when, you know, if I'm feeling snacky, it's nothing crazy. Like I try not to keep anything too unhealthy in there. I think I still have some like Christmas candy left over, but I still have it so clearly i'm not eating it that much but so i'll put these in there too um the smokehouse ones if and then these ones if i don't like them on a salad i'll just put them in my snack drawer okay i'm gonna taste these now mmm oh those are good mmm those are really good okay i mean if you like salt and vinegar chips you're gonna like these mm. Mm, mm, mm. that's really good okay um if you guys follow holly gabrielle she um she just posted a video or on her instagram stories or something that she chopped up these and put them in like tuna salad and i was like oh, that would be really good um that's actually another meal that i have wanted to make is um how did what did she put it with did she put it on rice cakes am i crazy I don't remember. I don't remember if that was her or somebody else, but I saw somebody make like tuna salad. Oh, I'm mixing two videos. That's what I'm doing. So Sam, it's her last name, Ozcarol. Sam was doing the tuna salad with avocado on a rice cake. And then it was Holly was doing the, just the tuna with like Dijon mustard and like the um, salt and vinegar almonds. And she was eating, I don't remember what she was eating it with, but it, anyway, it sounded super good. So, um, I actually really like eating tuna on like um, cucumber rounds, like slices of cucumber, but I usually end up doing that in the summer just because it's a lot lighter, um, but I could do it with these little mini cucumbers, we'll see. So um, I think that's everything that I got. So um, I am going to, ooh, I should actually walk you guys through with what I'm doing for meal prep. So um, I have been extremely hooked on this sheet pan dinner thing, um, basically, let me grab the ingredients and I'll show you because it's so easy, it's so quick and you can make one. I mean, if you're like a single person like me where you're not cooking for kids, I mean, even if you're cooking for like you and your husband or your wife or whatever, um, this is a really easy option and it gets you a completely balanced meal and it's filling and it's really good um, and it's pretty versatile. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can do it. So let me grab the ingredients and I will show you guys how I do it. Okay, these are the ingredients. Literally, this is the base of it. So what you do is, or what I do, I should say, is this is a giant bag of broccoli from Costco. This is super great because it's just the florets. There's not like the big stem pieces. I mean, there's some in there, but pre-cut and you get a ton of this for like way cheaper than what you pay for that many stalks of broccoli. So you take pieces of that, dice up some little potatoes, whatever, red or yellow, whatever you want. Um, and then I have been taking different flavors of this like smoked sausage and just slicing it up and baking it in the oven. So how I do it is I will first dice up the potatoes and toss them in avocado oil, put whatever seasonings I want on there. I change up the seasonings every time I do it. Um, so like this time, the sausage that I have is a Cajun style smoked sausage and I actually got a Cajun uh, seasoning. So I'm going to mix that with um, all the other stuff, the Cajun seasoning, just to hopefully pair really well with the sausage. So I will dice up the potatoes, toss them in avocado oil, put whatever seasonings on. So in this case, I'll do the Cajun seasoning and maybe some like onion powder, garlic powder, garlic salt, whatever. Um, I never measure seasonings. I just toss them in. I mean, you really can't go wrong unless it's salt. Salt is really the only thing and like maybe cayenne pepper if you don't like it too spicy, but everything else just like toss it in it's not gonna make a big difference and then I will bake it at either 415 or 425 for probably around like 15 20 minutes because the potatoes will take the longest and then once these are getting soft um, I'll add in the sliced sausage and broccoli and put a little bit more oil on toss it together add a little bit more seasonings 
and then bake that again for, for another, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, probably not even that long. Um, just kind of keep an eye on it. And once the broccoli starts getting um, a little bit crispy on the edges, then you're pretty good. Um, I do not like letting my broccoli get super mushy, so I keep it nice and crispy. That's why I cook it at such a high temperature. Um, and it's so easy. And this honestly provides me a meal for a good like three or four meals, which is great for meal prep. So I'll have it, you know, two lunches and two dinners or I'll have four lunches or whatever. Um, this week I will probably use it two lunches and two dinners. Um, I'm out of breath. I'm a little excited. So I'll have two lunches, two dinners. Um, and I will add in that like Olive Garden salad as an alternate for a couple meals just to change it up a little bit. I have yet to get sick of this sheet pan dinner and I have been eating it for like three or four weeks straight. Um, basically I kind of like keep the love alive, I guess, by, oh my gosh, I have like the hiccups and I'm out of breath. Ugh. Okay, so I just change up the sausage flavors, change up the seasonings. Um, I'm trying to find different ways to incorporate like different vegetables, which um, I've debated getting like shrimp and mixing it with the sausage and then the peppers, but I'm, I'm kind of picky when it comes to cooked peppers. So I'm not sure if I wanna go that route yet, but like I said, I have not gotten sick of the potatoes, broccoli and sausage. So I'm gonna keep going with it. Um, just because it is so easy, it's so cheap, you guys. If you are like balling on a budget, I mean, I'm trying to keep my expenses down and like save a bunch and pay off debt and all this stuff, so I get it, and it's super cheap. I mean, these sausages are like anywhere from like three to four, five dollars, depending on what kind you get. Um, I always get the Hillshire Farms, and they're on sale a lot, so that's three or four bucks. This bag is probably five bucks at, at Costco. Um, potatoes, I mean, are usually by the pound, you know, a buck or two a pound, and then whatever seasonings you and oil you want. Um, super affordable meal option, which I love, um, and it's easy, and it lasts you a while, and it's, I mean, it's very, a very satisfying meal, which is great. Like, it's balanced, it's got vegetables, it's got carbs, it's got protein, um, but it's like good carbs, it's not, you know, like empty carbs, which is great. So, it keeps me full for a really long time. Um, I just love it. Wow, I probably just talked about that for like 10 minutes. Um, okay, so I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna cook now or cook later. I kind of have the house to myself today, so maybe I should cook it, but I'm just, I'm not hungry right now, so I don't feel like cooking. I don't know, I haven't decided, we'll see in a couple seconds if I decide to show you guys. But um, if I don't do it now, I will just show you guys kind of what it all looks like, that sheet pan dinner when it's all put together and how I'm gonna meal prep for this week. It's pretty easy, I just explained it all, but I can show you guys. Um, but yeah, so that's my haul and kind of the lowdown on what I've been doing for, for meal prep lately. I'm excited about these containers because it's gonna make it so much easier to just make it ahead of time, get it ready so I actually like have it ready to go because lately I've not really been taking um, lunch. I mean, I've been taking lunch breaks, but I just eat at work. I don't love like coming back and forth all the time for whatever reason. I used to love it. Now I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't want to drive all the way over here. Um, so I'm really excited to have that all ready and just have my meals ready and just grab it and go um, in the mornings. So, all right, that was this haul. Hope you guys enjoy. I will um, be back to show you guys this meal prep once it's all together um and yeah okay moving on okay guys so i diced up some potatoes um i used probably like eight of these like small medium sized little potatoes and then i have my little thing of avocado oil so i'm just going to drizzle that over the top and take this Louisiana Cajun seasoning and sprinkle that all over. Like I said earlier, I never measure this out. And since I'm gonna be putting in more ingredients, it's okay if I go a little bit heavier um, because those other flav flavors will dilute themselves. Um, so I'm gonna bake these and then I will put in the chicken and broccoli um, after these have softened up. So I should mix these, but yes, that's what we're doing. Gonna put these in the oven.
guys, that is it for this little meal prep video slash grocery haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I think they're super fun because it's like, I was telling Jonathan, I have to do this stuff anyway. So making content for you guys on it is super fun and easy because I have to do it anyway. So like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.